All right, we're here with the uh, hockey's commissioner uh, Joe Britannia here as uh, we um, embrace on a BCBU rivalry and the women's game in the Frozen Fenway doubleheader and um, just talk about uh, your thoughts on the scene right now. Well, it's just very exciting for all of us who've been there from the beginning. We actually started talking about this in April. We announced it in August and uh, uh, and now we get the 72 hours ahead of us. Uh, it all comes together with the practices and the, and the two games Friday. So we're all very excited. Uh, how grand of a stage is it for these two teams, uh, as, especially uh, the past two national champions? Uh, grander, could you have asked for a grander stage? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're used to playing on big stages, but I think because of Fenway and because of outdoors and all the things that are different, this will bring this game to people who don't normally follow college hockey. Uh, the NHL Network's covering which is helpful for us as well as along with Nesson. So it, it does take it a step beyond all the, the big games and stages they've been on. Is this, you think, the biggest uh, regular season game for BC and BU, aside from the bean pie for well, quite you know, a while? In some senses, it's another, you know, it's a league game, it's an important game, it's part of the rivalry. It's, it's bigger as far as the uh, pageantry, but I think once the puck drops, it's it's, it's, it's another BC and BU game. And uh, the women's game this year, uh, two top-ranked teams. Uh, can you just talk about that a little bit? When we scheduled the UNH Northeastern women's game, we, we really had no way of knowing how strong their seasons would be. And ironically, they are our top two ranked teams, both in the top ten. So uh, that was a bonus. And uh, I think uh, this week UNH is ranked fourth and, and Northeastern ninth. So it's a big game for them as well. What do you think this means in all, both to the women's game and the college hockey landscape? I think it may even mean more to the women in that it's the first outdoor women's game. There is a WCHA game in February, but it's the first NCAA women's game outdoors. And depending on the people that are here uh, towards the end of the game, it could be the biggest crowd ever to see a, a women's college game. And with the events of the uh, Wear Classic, how um, anxious were you to uh, get this thing rolling? Well, I was watching the weather all last week, and they were saying rain, which never came. And uh, they've been saying snow showers for for possibility for us. So I, I've stopped looking at the weather reports. Only in New England, right? Exactly. All right, thank you.